Hey everybody, it's Melanie O'Kane with Yarn Mosaics. Um, making a video about using the Overlay Mosaic Crochet Pattern Maker version 3.0 with Google Sheets. Uh, it was, uh, in the past, it was the case that you would need to upload uh, the Excel version to Google Sheets and then use it that way. With version 3.0, we were running into some glitches, so I went ahead and just made a Google Sheets version of the uh, Pattern Maker version 3.0. So when you purchase, uh, when you make your purchase on Etsy, starting today, March 14th, uh, at 4.50 p.m. Central Time, uh, Central Daylight Time. Um, once you make your purchase, you'll get a zip file, uh, and this is what will be inside the zip file. Uh, for those of you who have already purchased, go to our private Facebook group, and in the files section, there will be a zip file in there with these three files in it. Okay. The, th the three files that are in the zip file um, include this, start here, open me first, okay? Please open this first before you jump in, and I know you're eager to get started, but open this first. There will be a link to the web page where you need to start, okay? Um, then... If you're using Excel, if you have Excel and want to use the Excel version, here is the Excel file. So you would open this up and then follow the videos that I've made already for Excel. If you are a Google Sheets user, you will want to open this file. And in this file is a link that will take you to a page that says, uh, do you want to make a copy of the Overlay Mosaic Crochet Pattern Maker version 3.0. You will want to make a copy, okay? And that is because when you use Google Sheets and you share a file with other people, if you don't do the, 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 where you make a copy, you will actually be working on the same Google Sheets that everyone else is working. So if somebody else is working on it and you make a change, they're going to see that change too and everybody else who uses the same file. So we need to make a copy. Then once you make that copy, you should save that to your Google Drive and then that will be your master copy on Google Sheets, okay? Um, but the, the, uh, when you click uh, the link that's inside this text file right here, it when you click that link or you copy and paste that link into your browser, it will take you to a page asking if you want to make a copy of the pattern maker and you will want to click yes or whatever, whatever it is that you're prompted to do, okay? And then save that to your Google Drive. And then that every time you go to Google Sheets, you'll have it right there and ready to use okay <clears throat> so that is that um, when you click on the start here open me first it is going to take you to um, it is going to take you to this page okay um Oh, let's see here. It's going to take you to this page. And this is where you will decide, do I want to use uh, version 3.0? If you do, you want to click here. If you're using an older version, you want to click here. Now, I did not make a Google Sheets version for the older version of the Pattern Maker. The Google Sheets version is only for version 3.0. And if any upgrades happen to 3.0, then the Google Sheets version will be upgraded as well. But I will not 
go backwards and recreate version 2.0 and 1.1 and all of that. But if you're using the older version with Excel, you're going to want to click here. If you're using version 3.0, you're going to want to click here. So we're going to go click here on version 3.0 and then it's going to take us to a page with the online tools. And this is where you're going to need to ent enter your password, which is your Etsy order number. And then it's going to take you to this page. Okay. It is strongly recommended that you watch the instructional videos. Please, please, if you have not done that, please watch the videos um, before you, um, you know, ask your questions in the Facebook group or to me directly. There are a lot of, there is a lot of information in those videos and it does walk you through step by step how to use the program. Okay, for Google Sheets users, you can use this link right here to get your copy of version 3.0. This is the same link that's in the zip file. Okay, when you click this link, it's going to ask you if you want to make a copy. In fact, let's do that. Okay, this is a page you're going to see. Would you like to make a copy of Overlay Mosaic Crochet Pattern Maker 3.0? You're going to say, make a copy. Okay, and when you say make a copy, you will automatically come over to Google, uh, Google Sheets. See here, copy of, and, and, and that's going to be what the name is until you name it something else. But you're going to, this is going to get saved on your Google Drive. Okay. So this will be your master. Now, if for some reason you mess up, you mess up and you, you do something to the program and you don't know what you did and you can't fix it and it's all messed up, then you just go back to that link, click uh, you know, the link to make a copy and you can make another copy and, um, they'll, you'll have a fresh slate then. <clears throat> Other than that, <clears throat> excuse me, this works the same way as the Excel version. Okay. You still have your information center. You still have your paste here page where you will paste your, um, uh, the from the CSV file with the PNS this is where you're gonna uh, go to paste that in fact I should show you how to do that so go through the steps that you that you've already learned how to do if you haven't already learned how to do it watch the videos there are three videos plus a supplemental video for uh, video number two so there's four videos in total. They're all very short. Please watch those. And it walks you through the steps on how to use um, the program. Uh, then when you get your PNS file created, that's going to be the CSV file. Um, you're going to want to bring that into Google Sheets in order to use that. So you're going to, here in Google Sheets, you're going to go File. And uh, let's see. Why don't we do, yeah, file import. Okay. And then you're going to want to click upload and browse. Okay, and then uh, after you click browse, it will take you to where you can choose the file that's on your computer. You're going to want to choose that PNS file uh, that you just created in step two from the online tools. 
and you're going to want to click open. Uh, and you're going to want to create a new spreadsheet and leave it as uh, detect automatically. Um, and uncheck that box there. Okay, and then import data. Okay, file imported successfully. And then you click open now. And that's going to open a new tab in your browser. Okay, and then when you have the PNS file open, then this is how you would um, copy and then paste into the paste here tab of the overlay mosaic crochet pattern maker. Okay, just like the, um, it, the instructional videos show you for Excel, it works the same way. Um, except for how you open the PNS file in Google Sheets is what we just did. Okay. Um, everything else works exactly the same. Okay. Um, so again, um, follow uh, the links that you get in the zip file, whether it's the zip file you get when you make your purchase or the zip file that you open from um, inside of our private Facebook group in the files section. And if you have any questions, just let me know. The uh, fastest way to get a response is through Etsy messaging. Um, and, or, you know, you can tag me in our private Facebook group, but the fastest way is probably through Etsy messages, okay? So um, I hope you enjoy this. And if you're a Google Sheets user, this will be much easier for you to manage uh, versus the way we were doing it. Okay. Thanks a lot for listening and have fun.